Victims who shared their stories with Contact Denver 7 had their day in court today. A contractor accused of taking their money and leaving their projects in shambles was in court. He's facing charges of theft and installing plumbing without a license. Contact Denver 7's Liz Gillardi is getting results for the viewers who came to us for help. I think there's a little adrenaline. You know, I was nervous. Nervous to see the man he paid $27,500 to renovate his basement. Jody Worth is just one victim we profiled in several stories about TJ Welker and Braveheart Construction. After a while, their stories started to sound the same. They hired him to do the work, but the job was never finished. It was definitely tough. By December, I was really concerned that he wasn't coming back. And I asked him when he was coming back, and he said he didn't know. Worth was in court today. He wanted to see his former contractor as he faces charges for theft and installing plumbing without a license. Cameras were not allowed inside. Not only was Welker in court for this case, he's also facing his fifth DUI. Shortly after he was charged with theft and was out on bond, police pulled him over in Thornton. They believe he was driving under the influence. During our first story in October 2020, we tried to confront him. This is what he told us on the phone about the unfinished work. They're going to call and cry to you guys, and I'm not being an asshole, but it's you. As Welker sits in jail, Worth's basement sits unfinished. Yeah, there's still a really big hole in the floor. Uh, the truss still has not been fixed from the big hole that he cut in it. Yeah, we're just kind of in a, a holding pattern. He's still trying to save up money and take out a loan to finish the job and repair the damage that he said Welker did. We also introduced you to Van Gogh. She paid Braveheart Construction $5,000. Then she found out Welker never pulled permits. He's not doing anything. These pictures show what her home looks like now. Construction is underway thanks to a good-hearted contractor who stepped up to finish the job and Denver 7 viewers who donated money. But these victims want to see Welker held accountable. They say today, with him in court, it feels like the first step. I kind of view this as someone came into my house, stole my money, I'm probably never going to see it again. But what I can do is I can step up and make sure it doesn't happen again. Liz Gillardi, Denver 7. And problems like these can only be exposed by our viewers reaching out to contact Denver 7. So if you have a story you would like Liz or any of our other investigators to look into, call the number on your screen or email us contact 7 at the Denver